Welcoming uh, our international viewers back to this uh, ASMR Skycopter 7. We are currently following what appears to be a bunch of youths uh, having a wonderful day out in a car. Uh, we don't know if this is their car, or their mom's car, or their dad's car, or their uncle's car, or their little cousin's car, or, or what have you. There is some uh, suspicions that the car has been stolen, um, but we don't have confirmation of that at this time. The car is uh, very odd looking. It appears to have some damage at the rear. The rear bumper is missing, so we could uh, possibly speculate that these uh, individuals are quite upset by the state of the car and are rushing to get back to the Hyundai dealership uh, before they break for lunch in order to get that bumper repaired. Uh, again, this is um, unconfirmed. Uh, the, the, I'm just speculating at this point, but it is a distinct possibility. We don't really have any other explanation for the excessive speed and slightly reckless driving which is going on. Driving on the wrong side of the road there, past the uh, railway line, kicking up a bit of dust. It's actually quite remarkable uh, the agility and speed, uh, quickness and traction that the Koreans have managed to manufacture uh, in these Hyundai vehicles. They certainly do give other car manufacturers a run for their money. Taking off again at a significant uh, speed, almost stopping at the stop sign, but not quite. Going around in a bit of a loop, it seems the uh, GPS on their phone could be uh, malfunctioning. Uh, sending them in all sorts of directions. It's possible that the uh, navigation software that they use on their phone has been um, infiltrated by Russian hackers uh, telling them to go at excessive speeds uh, which obviously no uh, responsible driver would typically do uh, stopping down for the recycling bin that's good you don't want to take that out it's very important to keep the recycling intact straight through another stop sign there and another one, it looks as though the, the GPS navigation on this, uh, whatever system they're using, is definitely uh, malfunctioning or, as I said, uh, have been hacked by the Russians. Now, as I said, I want to thank uh, all our viewers for joining us on this uh, latest chase. Uh, for some reason, they all seem to occur in the Los Angeles area. It's becoming a bit of a, I suppose, uh, part of the cultural landscape uh, of that particular region in the United States. Uh, perhaps... Uh, if you visit us here in Los Angeles, you may, in fact, get lucky and see one of these for yourself. However, there's nothing quite like viewing it from the sky, from the ASMR HD Skycopter 7, where we bring you all the details, all the latest drama from the sky in full, glorious, high definition. Just making their way down uh, further into southeast Los Angeles there, taking a right turn. Um, looks as though there's some damage on the front of the vehicle as well. Uh, these, uh, it looks to be some young lads uh, driving the vehicle. Uh, they have their hoods up, 
which suggests that it is slightly chilly, possibly um, in, I, I don't know what we say in Fahrenheit, but let's just say in the new money, uh, approximately 10 to 12 degrees, uh, I would consider that to be hoodie weather. And obviously if they've got the windows down, Oh, sliding right past uh, with with millimeters to spare. That's one wonderful skills there. Through another stop sign. I don't think uh, the Hyundai dealership is on this street, so we just have to hope that they have enough gas to get them to where they need to be. Yes, I am slightly puzzled as to why they don't just put the windows up and turn the heater up. Uh, that way there would be no uh, real reason to have the hoodies up. But uh, some people like to have the fresh air blowing in their face, makes them feel a bit more at one with nature. Taking a sharp right there. Um, Again, we can see the visible damage on the front of the vehicle, but still going at a fair rate. There's one of the individuals looking up to the sky, possibly checking to see if the clouds are going to clear and the sunshine will come out a little bit more, uh, at which point I'm sure they'll uh, take the hoodies down and enjoy slightly warmer temperature. And a hard left, uh, where is this Clovis uh, Century Boulevard, Clovis Avenue, Southeast Los Angeles. We have a floating yellow dot there, that is quite common these days, I've never seen one in person, but it does show up from time to time on the video. More stop signs, I, I mean, perhaps uh, they consider the stop signs to be a guideline instead of an actual rule. It's possible they are not from here, as I am, therefore, uh, I mean, ignorance of the law is no excuse, of course, but um, I'm sure the judge will take that into account uh, once they get... Uh, up in front of the judge should the police with their high-powered V8s are able to catch up with this inline four uh, fuel-efficient Hyundai Elantra, I believe. Keeping the police on their toes as they wiggle left and right on the hunt for that dealership, hoping that they get there before the warranty expires. It's possible that uh, the warranty on this vehicle may expire at uh, 5 p.m. Uh, and it's 4.45 now, so... Oh, and it just jumped to 4.53 for some reason. Uh, that's uh, 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 unexplained uh, an uh, atmospheric uh, magnetic anomaly that just occurred. Um, but try not to worry about that. Now we don't know if these uh, young lads are armed. Uh, we have no reason to believe that they are armed. Um, however, if we were to speculate as before, it could be that they have anything between a pocket knife and a highly explosive uh, a biological, chemical and nuclear weapon. It's somewhere in between that range is... Uh, likely uh, what to what to be what they have yeah passing a mazda it's good keep making it look as though the mazda was standing still uh, which I, I suppose it was oh and one of them is oh, it looks as though a few of them are running uh, oh, the, I understand what's going on now. They're holding up their pants. Uh, the, it appears that they are, are looking for a belt shop. 
I have been unable to locate one. I was obviously very mistaken about the Hyundai dealership. The, the, the gentleman in front is clearly the leader. Uh, he's not holding up his pants and is setting a very good pace for the others. That cat is wondering what on earth is going on in this alleyway, uh, which I'm sure uh, that cat is not alone, uh, as I'm sure we are all thinking precisely the same thing. Now we're just holding uh, steady here with the Skycopter 7, waiting to see if the Baggy pants, uh, young lads, emerge. Uh, so far, nothing. It is possible that some incident has occurred out of view of our HD cameras here. Yeah, it could be that some indecency has occurred. Uh, possibly gravity has uh, and physics has uh, overwhelmed the lack of belts, the lack of elastic. Um, or it could just be that they, they have stopped for a, a little break, as it uh, does seem as though the police are quite far behind. Uh, let's see if possible we can zoom in. There's some people there. Wondering what uh, what is going on in their little neighborhood. Um, maybe they are uh, going to donate some belts or, or perhaps some shoelaces that they can tie around their, their waist so that the young lads can continue to make their way to whatever destination they were going for. And we are just coming around, and what was that? I'm just hearing from, I'm just hearing from the studio here that uh, this part of uh, Los Angeles is actually known uh, as being uh, told as slightly like the Bermuda Triangle. Uh, so there could be that uh, there is some sort of interspatial or possibly interdimensional rift. Uh, the the young lads could have fallen through uh, there. I think we just saw a black cat. Um, as you know, oh, two black cats. That is not a good sign, ladies and gentlemen. Something exceptionally supernatural. And we have movement from another vehicle with Garfield in the window. This is this is starting to get. Oh, the police are there. Uh, it looks as though the police officer is talking to the occupant of this vehicle, possibly asking if they have uh, more Garfields in the trunk, perhaps trying to find out where the Garfield uh, was purchased so that they can uh, get some for their own children. Looks as though they are allowing this vehicle to go, uh, or they are escorting it to another spot. Perhaps they wish to investigate a little bit further uh, the nature of the Garfield stuffed animal in the window. Uh, perhaps uh, they think some sort of contraband is uh, in the vehicle. Maybe some additional stuffed toys that uh, could be deemed culturally insensitive. Uh, we just don't know at this point. They are really turned that car upside down. There's quite a crowd forming. Now, I I, I hope the police keep them back as, as these interdimensional uh, spatial rifts are no joking matter. Uh, they can suck in anybody at any time. 
Uh, so I would expect the police to keep a, a very wide cordon uh, here to make sure that uh, nobody else gets accidentally sucked into what could be an evil mirror universe version of our universe. The police are uh, searching through the Hyundai, the damaged Hyundai, looking for any uh, potential technology that could have initiated such a rift in, in our uh, fabric of the space-time continuum. Uh, I think it will be clearly uh, fruitless as the, the, the occupants have already used such technology to teleport themselves elsewhere. So they would have taken that with them. However, the police must investigate. It's understandable. They must investigate every possibility and see if there is any additional equipment in there that can be salvaged possibly to be used uh, as part of the defence industry. Some very odd parking from that Crown Vic there. Um, somebody might want to have a wee word with the police officer, let them know um, that they really should be parking a little bit more at a right angle, 90 degrees, just like the other cars, uh, set a good example for the citizens of, and residents of this part of the city. Not exactly sure what we're waiting for now. Perhaps they are hoping that the suspects will emerge in a glowing flash of multi-spectral light. Um, we will just have to wait and see if that is in fact the case. It appears to be a hammer and a mobile phone and another mobile phone on top of the roof of that vehicle. Uh, it's possible that both of those phones are under spec'd, extremely frustrating and laggy to use, uh, in which case I, I really don't blame them for having a, a hammer uh, in order to take out their frustrations on those devices. I have admittedly felt like doing that in the past myself. So far we are just waiting, and uh, the police are standing around, possibly just having a little bit of a chit chat. There is a, what appears to be a gentleman there with a firearm uh, pointing at that black truck. We don't know if the black truck is uh, guilty of anything, so far the black truck hasn't moved. It is raised though, and I suppose it is possible that there are some illegal modifications on that black truck. Um, and when you're dealing with potentially futuristic or alien uh, technology, uh, you need to be ready for anything really. So pointing that weapon at any suspicious object or individual is certainly warranted in this case. We are yet to uh, see anybody re-emerge from the subspace interdimensional rift, uh, but it could be uh, a minute, it could be a hundred years, and this is the crazy nature of the universe that we inhabit, of course. The police continuing to keep everybody back, very, very responsible. We don't want to accidentally lose anybody into what could potentially be an evil mirror universe. I'm 
folks. I saw a couple of residents there having a little bit of a chit chat, uh, undoubtedly talking about why it's taken so long for the police to finally address this uh, Bermuda Triangle issue that they have probably been putting up with for a long time. And as always, as we know, it usually takes a few people to be hurt or vanished into an interdimensional rift before the city does anything about it. And I've uh, asked our pilot here, Davy, just to keep a safe distance, as just because we are up in the air uh, does not mean that we are immune from any uh, gravitational waves or anomalies. I'd like to uh, thank you all for uh, your patience and sticking with us uh, as we continue to monitor the situation from the Skycopter 7 ASMR HD. Certainly uh, an individual with a bright orange shirt on, definitely uh, not trying to hide, wants to make sure they're very, very visible. Um, that could go either way though, the police uh, might accidentally put their attention on that person uh, because they stand out. Equally, it could be that uh, the bright colour is some sort of uh, repellent uh, that they know works. Uh, if, they've wor if they've lived here for quite some time, they may have some insider knowledge about this uh, incredibly strange anomaly. They're leaving the doors wide open, uh, as I suspect there was uh, some tacos consumed earlier in the day by that driver, um, possibly needing to air off the vehicle, uh, just to, so that when they take it back to be examined, the forensic people do not collapse. As you know, uh, health and safety is very important in these situations, uh, so we want to make sure this is a good outcome and a good result for everyone involved. Interestingly, it looks as though the police have detained a couple of people. Those don't look like the people who went into the rift uh, unless they returned... Um, in a different form, uh, there's possibly three, four maybe, individuals who are being detained for questioning there. Uh, again, we don't have any information right now. It could be that the police are waiting. Oh, there is a, what appears to be a shotgun aimed at the black truck across the street. Uh, it could be that they are waiting to see if the black truck transforms into something else. So far it is stationary and just because it's not apparently posing a threat at this exact moment doesn't mean that it won't in the next few minutes. All in all, this is a fairly routine and quite quiet uh, situation occurring here in this part of the city. Um, it, again, the crowd is uh, staying back very responsibly. Uh, we do want to make sure that the safety of the public is paramount and we don't want anyone else being lost. And another individual being escorted away. We don't know why at this point. Uh, could be multiple reasons for that. Again, I am struggling to understand the parking layout of that Crown Victoria. It's uh, very odd. I don't know if we're going to get a resolution to the end of this situation. Lots and lots of unanswered questions. 
unfortunately we have lost signal. Uh, perhaps we uh, uh, electronics on the aircraft are uh, suffering from some sort of issue. Uh, it, I don't. It, something is going on. Uh, Davy, we need to get out of here, Mummy. Let's get out. Let's get back. Right, Davy. Davy. <laughs> <laughs>